In September, New York City transit riders will have an opportunity to see how concerned increasing numbers of New Yorkers are about the role of the U.S. in Israel-Palestine. Posters showing Palestinian and Israeli parents with their children bearing the message, Two Peoples, One Future, and calling for an end to U.S. military aid to Israel are on display in stations throughout the subway system. Supported by a wide range of New York City groups from social justice to interfaith communities, this effort is part of a national campaign, Be On Our Side, which has already run successfully in six major U.S. cities. This campaign is designed to encourage U.S. policies that promote peace, equality, and security for Palestinians and Israelis, and to inform Americans about the scale and consequences of U.S. military aid to Israel. This campaign seeks to break through the unbalanced media coverage of events surrounding the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. It's designed to promote open and honest discussion amongst New Yorkers about the possibility of achieving a just peace and the role that the U.S. plays in the region. When we started to hear about the campaign that was going on across the country in six different states, and in six different cities really, uh, which is called Be On Our Side, we decided that that was directly connected to our mission, which is educating the American public about what's happening in Israel and Palestine. And we just decided to jump into it as um, a supporting and a supporting organization. Well, it's said that uh, we have a special relationship with Israel. And so we have a special responsibility for the consequences of what our military aid has been doing in Israel. And I think that at Westpac, we would be very happy if the $30 billion the U.S. has committed to Israel over the next 10 years instead went for more spending for housing, jobs, cleaning up the environment, and doing all of the things that we need to do here rather than for an illegal military occupation. FOR members pledge to refuse to participate in any war or to sanction military action. We work to abolish war and promote goodwill amongst races, nations, and classes. A clear first step in this direction would be to discontinue all military aid to any nation, Israel being no exception. It's time all Americans gave serious thought to this principle and acted on these premises. So I'm volunteering for the Two Peoples, One Future campaign because this is a beautiful campaign. It identifies that there are great people that support justice, that are Jewish, that are Palestinian. It's not Jew against Arab. The conflict is about justice-seeking people against war-mongering people. And this campaign that's bringing the truth to the uh, New York people and the American public, I'm proud to be a volunteer. This is going to be a great part in the future success for peace and justice in the Middle East. <laughs> I'm uh, William Coakley and I'm an Irishman and I know what uh, conflicts uh, 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 with uh, religion as a background. And when I saw that Israel was oppressing the Palestinian and uh, using internationally illegal means, I uh, felt I had to volunteer uh, with this wonderful uh, program of Be On Your Side. We of Women in Black are very happy to support this campaign because we have been supporting nonviolent action for Israeli Palestinian peace and justice for many, many years and decades. The Palestinian and Israeli people are hungering for peace. They're doing many nonviolent actions for peace, and they just need the support of the United States. And we, they need us to get the United States government out of their way. It's time for international law to be respected. It's time for UN resolutions to be carried out and enforced without being blocked by US vetoes. It's time the US sided with the oppressed and not the oppressor. It's time U.S. ended its military aid to Israel, which supports and prolongs the occupation. That's okay. <laughs> and we are truly on the side of peace and justice. 
We believe that by ending U.S. military aid to Israel, we are helping both Israelis and Palestinians for a brighter and more prosperous future, um, safer future as well. What's so crucial about the subway ad campaign is that it opens up space for ordinary New Yorkers to start having this important conversation about our lopsided approach to Middle East politics. Join us and be on the side of peace and justice.